Let's have that argument. Not argument. Let's have that discussion. If I would have told you what? No, I don't tell nobody nothing. Okay? Because that's my point. Look, look. I was at uh, last night at Baruch College. Uh, right. There was a memorial lecture uh, uh, for uh, 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 Dr. Um, uh, um, um, uh, Dr. Smith, um, Donald Smith, Donald H. Smith, right? Professor Donald H. Smith. You know, Donald Smith. Man? Yeah, a few, a couple, a little, yeah, a little while ago. You know what I mean? So, so. Well, yeah, because I, I mean, folks are just going, and that's something else. You know, one of the things which I think we were very fortunate in doing was. See, we have stuff with Dr. Donald Smith. In fact, I was just playing something last week, some some uh, a, a, a piece on education, mm-hmm. and Dr. Donald Smith was doing the intro and also doing the Q and A. See, and Donald Smith, Shashi McIntyre. See, mm-hmm. see, we have these people, voice people. But my old, my old concern now in this preservation is we have to get this stuff back to the source. Well, here's what happened. Let me explain what happened. I was there. Mm-hmm. I had my camera, but I had my phone or whatever. Mm-hmm. But uh, unknown, un- well, I didn't know. But but they call up uh, Dr. L.A. Sanford. Sanford uh-huh. was she was there. She gave she gave this concise, riveting thing that I didn't get. But I was somebody was in the audience, and I asked him to send me the mm-hmm. send me the, send me the thing. Mm-hmm. Then if, then then I I I was there actually to tape uh, 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 Dr. James Conyers because mm-hmm. you know when I'm in New York, that's who I stay with. But you know, you know he's. They, a lot of these academics, you know, they want to be prepared. It's like you, they want to prepare. They got to have their notes and da, 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 da. And I keep on... Yeah, well, I'm prepared a certain... I just, I'm prepared, but this. Uh, I also leave a space for spontaneity. Yeah, okay, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's not my point, right? <laughs> and so he was sort of nervous about what he was going to say, and he got up there and did this thing, and I'm recording him, right? And then afterwards, I realized what... I realized something, right? And so, uh, so you know, I had to go to a BAI... Because mm-hmm. we have this whole kerfuffle with BAI in yes. Pacifica right now, so yeah. I had to go to that meeting. So I see. So, so, the, so the, um, this morning, when he because he has to get up early to go to teach at, at Kane University, and I said, "Look, I got to tell you this, buddy. This is this, you got to really know this. Your thing was so powerful because the energy that you put out, it, it, it doesn't matter what you're saying." It just engulfs us. What I'm trying to say, what I'm trying, what I'm trying to, I didn't say this to him, but what I'm trying to explain to you and everybody else, if you come, what do you call raw, if you come authentic, because yeah. you, you don't have your notes, whatever have you, you have to speak from another space. So you know what you know, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so and that's what pulls people, that's what engages people, you know? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm a, 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 he had told me, oh, somebody, some other people told me the same thing last night. So this is like universal truth, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? I'm tired, I'm tired of, yeah, you give the paper, you, you read it from the same student, I'm sorry, you read it from your same paper. Yeah. Look, I can, get, I can get your paper online. Yeah. I want to hear, come on, yeah. then I ask you a question. Oh, no, I, then you oh gotta, I agree you, with you. you know. I agree with you. No, I'm, the worst thing I always, you know, one of the things which really pisses me off is when I go to, have, come to go to a lot of these forums is for us to pull out a paper and want to read their paper. If you know your stuff, you don't need the paper. Just tell me the story. Yeah. That's it. Just tell me the story. Now, I, if I come bring out a paper, one thing I use paper for is to make sure I get the timeline right, mm. but not the details. I need just need to the timeline because, like, you asked me about certain certain time. When did I encounter certain people? When did I encounter get certain you know a, a, the, the feeling to get into this? That's something I'm working on right now, getting that timeline right because there's just so much stuff. Mm. That came together to form, to push me into doing this, doing this, becoming a sound gatherer. Mm. See, because my original thing was I came in here to learn. I came there to learn. I came to be AI to learn. Mm. See, and I approached first, first, the first world lines the same way. I came to first world lines to learn. Then later on, I saw again, you know, this is important. Mm. This needs to be preserved. Other people need to be involved in this. Mm. And now I'm at the, at the time, time when we're looking at institutionalizing stuff. Yeah. Right. You need to do that. You, you, you can answer the phone. We, we'll, we'll stay raw. There's, there's another thing that's been happening that's happening with, 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 with me, you know, uh, which I find kind of, uh, but I've always been this way. You, 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 you talk to, uh, you, don't you got one of those things that you go to silent, man? You ain't got no silent thing on there? My, my phone got a silent button on mine. I man. could turn the whole thing off. No, don't turn it off. Just put it turn on it, silent. I, Just put it on I silent. I can put it down. You know. 
Because I, I even tell Scotty, I'm not going to edit this thing. This is going to stay the way it is. You're going to do, <laughs> <gonna> do raw. <laughs> yeah. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Well. You mentioned something before that you, when you when you when you're sound gathering, you're not just doing an audio or a visual a video, but you're trying to get people's papers. You're trying to to get some other ancillary things. Now, I have a whole other thing with that because I'm pure sound. So what I what I do is this: the function. I'm figuring that whoever's whoever put on this function is getting there what they're getting from the speakers or whatever have you. Right. I'm not particularly interested. I shouldn't say it that way, but I have to say it that way because that's the way I feel. I'm not particularly interested in some, you know, uh, uh, I don't want to say celebrity, but that's celebrity class, you know, the, 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 the <laughs> keynote speaker, <laughs> whatever. I'm not particularly interested in them. You know what I mean? I'm, not, I'm more interested in not only the power behind the throne, but I'm interested in, in, in the other people. So, example, example, uh, when I went to the, um, in fact, let me, you know, let me try to get myself on camera. For this, um, uh, I just slide over, slide over, slide over this way. Uh, <laughs> this thing rolls, right? Uh, um, yeah, it rolls. Let me roll over this way and just say this. <laughs> Some room here. Because I want you to show you this. I was just at the, uh, got these cables in this thing. In fact, you, you audio, you video people like that. As you can see, I have my, I have my ADOS. Yes, I see. T-shirt. Yeah, and shoot ADOS. Yeah, and uh, so I was just at that the, the conference, you know, and so what happened at the conference is, uh, you know, they they they're recording it. In fact, there was a professional film team that they were just some film brothers. Crew. They were really 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 good from from LA, and I'm I'm so yeah 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 yeah. I'm uh, uh, getting some audience people, some other people, some interesting people, I, I think. And so if you go on my YouTube channel, you know, interview, I, you know, I do the interview section, mm -hmm. then you'll find some really unbelievable yeah. testimony. Yeah. And so I'm more interested in that kind of thing. I'm more interested in, since I know the big thing, it just, what I'm trying to say, since the 80s, when we had to redo really that, mm -hmm. but since then, since everybody's got a camera, people are get, trying to get the, you know, they got to get the celebrity or whatever have you. I'm more interested in the person that's trying to get, um, these other key kind of people. I think that they have yeah, they, they yeah, some uh, that's, stories. Yeah, 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 that's, oh, that's something which, yeah. that's something we focused on a lot. Yeah. Um, I was, I was always aware that the, um, sometimes the most important information wasn't a, a, up here, up there on the podium. <laughs> it was usually down in the audience. Mm. And when we, we had time and places where we could set up a microphone where people could come to the microphone, that's when the real conversation start. Mm, mm, mm. And, um, and I learned just as much from the people in the audience. In fact, the people in the audience became members of the sound gatherers. No, this is true. This is See? true. Yeah. yeah. Because... Sometimes, you know, I've heard people say on the air, you know, uh, you know, I got one of some of the brightest people in the audience, the audience there is. Mm -hmm. And that's and a lot of times that's true. Mm -hmm. And again, that's something else I had to begin to, you know, train people, in, you know, and, and really um, have them pay close attention to was the fact that you never know how much information you might have missed. Mm. By not taking your microphone into that audience. Mm. Oh yeah, the, the, the other thing is that because of, because I'm BAI trained, you know, I was in Brazil one time. They had this conference. As well, I was there. There was also have some women's conference, whatever have you. And it would the, after, after the big thing happened, was like the a day later, the women were having a, another little thing, yep. and all the media, everybody had left. Left. You know, and, and, and I think, I think I don't know if they were excluded men, but it's like a lot of women do journalism, whatever have you. Mm. They left, and for some reason I ended up in this little mm. thing with them, you know. And uh, they let me hang, you know. Mm. And I got some stuff in there that nobody got. That's it. Only because you, I mean, you're used to see, you come early, you stay late. That's it. You know. Oh, listen, people have told me, um, have told me exclusively, Melvin, we want you to come in and record this, but this is going to be closed door. Mm -hmm. The last thing I did with Gil Noble was a day-long session with African educators at the Clark House, mm -hmm. which was closed door. Mm -hmm. No press. No nothing. Mm -hmm. I was the only person there with a camera or a microphone. Mm -hmm. He said, and, and <clears throat> I remember um, Dr. McIntosh asking Gil, said, why is he recording? He said, because this is historical. This is important. This is important. Mm -hmm. Say, may not be prepared to be important now, but this is going to be important down the road. So I want to make sure this is documented. Mm -hmm. And that's how I, I approached most of the stuff we did. Mm -hmm. I mean, it got to a point where we would 
sit down with when uh, when a major conferences we're going to be we cover major conferences. We sit down with the producers of the conferences a day or two ahead of time and just have a conversation with them. Mm-hmm. Round table. In fact, I was just looking at um a couple of years ago there was a, a conference we did called Crossing Boundaries, and it was basically about the African diaspora. Mm-hmm. Uh, Michael uh, Professor Michael Gomez at uh, NYU was the person who put it together. And we actually had a, a, we sat down with him, I think two or three days before the conference started, in his office, myself, um, Hampton, Asuka, mm-hmm. a few other people, I think Victor Tako was there that night, and we mapped out how we would cover the conference, and also we, and also we interviewed him on why he did, why he, why he brought, brought these people together through this conference, what was the importance of this conference. Mm-hmm. So we would do stuff like that. I mean, we're just not just coming in doing the conference, we did before. We also tried to do after, mm-hmm. and preserve all this material so people can come come behind and say, "This is how this is how you do it. This is how you do documentation in our community." Mm-hmm. It's not like some other folks coming and do a documentation in the community, mm-hmm. because we've been I've been around around at certain events where other folks would come in and do it, and they run into a place at the last moment. They don't have microphones. They don't have the right cables. They don't have the right kind of light. And this, we're talking about CBS, NBC. Mm. And they just want to set a camera up, shoot for about a minute or so, mm. and then run out. Because mm. I remember we were, um, there was a major conference we were doing on uh, criminal, uh, criminal, cr- um, criminal justice issues. And Jesse Jackson, one of the keynote speakers, and uh, the guys from ABC came in because they wanted to shoot, shoot Jesse's segment. They ain't worried nobody about this one, shoot Jesse's mm. his statement. And they came in. They're looking around. They got nowhere to plug into to get sound because Jesse's up there on a, on a podium. The place is packed. Mm. I'm sitting over there and on the side with my, my board, tying in all the mics and stuff, mm. getting all the sound. And the guy comes over to me. Can I plug in there? Mm. I say, Hold on. Let me see if I got something for you. Mm. Let me see if we can get get you a a a, a, a plug in. But other than that, people don't, they don't come up here. Mm. They don't come up here, not like we come up here. Hmm. That's something else, I, you know, people need to really understand. We came prepared. We came with, at one point, we were, I was lugging like 15 bags of equipment. Hmm. Audio and video equipment. Hmm. Plus we had a photographer with us. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you for this part. Okay, thanks a lot. <laughs>